Hey guys, Luke for Smith here, and I've got a little ride review um, to do today. I, well, today is Tuesday 20, 22nd. Yesterday I was at Kessington Velder Adventures Resort, um, and I actually went on to the, um, the Gruffalo River Adventure ride, or whatever it's called, uh, what is it? Yeah, the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. I've seen uh, bit, bits of it on online and stuff and all the hype and everything and I've seen in other people's vlogs the, the queue is mostly a, a mile long um, however luckily I went on a Monday it was it was not a bank holiday Monday um, but there was I think there was like two school groups there and that was about it which you kind of expect that really when you go on a bank holiday um, when we first got there, we done we, we we done some of the other rides we wanted to do before we before we got got down to the the Wildwoods area, and um, it was basically a forty five minute wait. So we thought, sorry, let's do something else. So we went somewhere else. I can't really remember what what it was. I think we it was either um, Hocus Pocus Hall and lunch. Um, or it was like Trial of the Kings we walked through, one or two. Anyway, when we actually came back, it was a 10 minute wait. And to be honest with you, it was no queues, we just walked on. It, it was it was walk on when we went on it, so that was really good. And I was quite surprised that Tiger Walk, one of the um, new ones from the 5th of May that opened this month, was a maximum of 45 minute wait time which on the on a weekday that's that's actually pretty good we didn't go on it because i'm not a big fan of log flume so i wasn't much bothered about it really but anyway this is about the um the graflo ride um just thought i'd give you some updates and stuff around the park beforehand though so the graflo rides um, it is really good, really immersive. I'll take you through the um, the um, queue line, even though I have recorded the queue line, uh, like, like the interior queue line, not not the outside one, which is basically um, uh, a fence stuff. But you go through his kettle pen and that. Um, the interior, you basically go up the ramp. It's the same layout as the um, bubble works, but I haven't been on the bubble works before, so I've only seen it on video and pictures. So you just go over through the um the ramps. Obviously ramps feel clear accessible. It was really good. The end problem is they have steps there, so it's not really that real clear accessible. Um but I'm pretty sure hopefully they install um ramps where the stairs are as well. Um you go over the bridge, over over the water to the other side, and then you basically get get into your boat, which is a, a round tub basically one of those, um, a smaller version of a Rapids ride that they get at Fort Park and um, Orton Towers, but like a smaller version. Um, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, you do you do get water in in the actual um, boats because it is a water ride, so you can't really help it or anything. And it's basically you go through and you look up. There's a little a starting point where you look up and you're basically going through it like a the storybook of the um, Gruffalo books. Um, so you're going through it now. To be honest with you, I was looking around all, all over the place because everything was 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 going by and the boat was turning and bumping across the walls. So um, it was a lot to take in. Giggity. Um, yeah, uh, things I remember was the some of the anim animatronics that I thought were just static statues by watching other people's videos, but some of them were like animat animatronics, not fully animated. It was just like stills that they just like walk along the tree and back again. Um, they used uh, projection effects in it. Uh, which is good because you can see some projection effects in the in the walls and that, and the Gruffalo's eyes were projection um, effect ones, which is good. For some reason, I thought it wasn't working because it looked like he went blind at one point and then it come back on. 
that was really freaky to look at. Um, the, the actual models what they used were, were re really good, re really interesting to look at. Um, sound effects in it, re really nice, nice musical score all the way through in that. And then it's the, um, the smells, they use um, smell pods um, in this ride. If you don't know what a smell pod is, um, go to Disney, they use them all the time over there. It, they basically pump certain smells in different scenes to make you feel fully immersed uh, into the experience. It's like what they do with the London Dungeons and Shrek's Adventure, that, that kind of thing. Well, any, any Merlin uh, Dungeon attraction. Uh, they they do it. It's it's so that you feel fully immersed and that. Especially uh, it's like when we went through the first one, the first section with all the flowers and light up flowers and stuff. It can smell a slight flowery floral smell. It wasn't that much potent because we went ended up going into the wooded area, floating into there. And it was more potent. It smelled like really old oils for some reason to me. I don't know why. Even though it's meant to be like thick wooden. And fog, that that kind of thing. So that was a really strong smell. Um, so you go for go for all these different scenes, which I presume is from the book and the TV series, which unfortunately I kind of have no interest in. I haven't read the books, haven't seen much of the series. I've seen a few bits and pieces, but not 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 enough to actually get 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 really into. Um, with the um, the last section, which is the, um, the photo op section, you basically get pulled up a ramp. And to be honest with you, I was kind of like holding myself in because you go up the ramp in the boat, it's like you're alone and right back. You think yourself, I might fall out of this in a minute. But no, it's completely fine. When it tilts up and it just like slides into the um, into the water below into the final section. I thought it was going to be more of a drop, but it was more like a gentle slide into there. And your picture gets taken by the um, on, on ride camera and, and that uh, for the um, on ride photo. And then you just basically flow through this um, new area, uh, which they really re 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 revamped. And you basically got like uh, water shooters shooting that way and shooting that way, like an arch above your head. It's actually two of them in that area, one at the beginning and one at the end. The only problem is I got a bit of wet on, on that bit because all the waterfalls and you get little splashes on, on your here and there. Um, you don't get too wet on it, which is good. And it's a really nice smell of, unfortunately, chlorine. <laughs> In the, in the entirety of the ride, all you can do is smell chlorine, which is good because the water is fresh. But come on, you can pump more smells into them to actually mask the smell. I think um in in Disneyland for the um one one of their log rides, they use um a different kind of chemical to clean the water so it doesn't smell as bad. It begins with B, but I can't remember what it's called. Um. Uh, but yeah, we still use chlorine over here. I don't know why. It's probably cheaper than that for the Merlin parks because they use so much water and they have to use so much um, chlorine. So they probably get it cheap. Anyway, at the end is more special effects like uh, certain wind effects and that and um, fog and haze effects until you go through this cloud, which is a projection on some fog it looks like you're going through a real angry cloud uh, but it's not it's just like a fog f effect thing so nothing's really there it's just been project mapped onto a um, surface I'm, I'm guessing it's really interesting the stuff the stuff what they um pulled off in in that attraction so i really liked it and it's really Im immersive as well the only problem is try not to lock off directly up because you can see the actual ceiling of the um, building <laughs> which kind of takes it away and i kind of wish that they ha would have um like um them fake trees like foliage to try and cover the roof the roof up a little bit but hopefully you're not seeing up all the time so yeah um, sometimes with that sort of ride, sometimes the most thing that doesn't seem to work is the projection mapping, uh, which, uh, especially on the Gruffalo's eyes, you don't, they don't do anything. He just looks blind, st staring into his soul all the time, he doesn't blink or anything. Um, but 
fortunately it worked um, when when we um, was on it. Um, so that was really good, really immersive ride. That was I really lo loved that ride. Um, yeah, on a weekend that ride is busy as anything. You get about 60, 90 minute wait on that at least on the weekend. So yeah, best to go on a weekday when you're off school and that. Um, when you come off, you basically um, get off and then you go down these steps into the gift shop, which the gift shop actually merges with the vampire gift shop, uh, which you can see all your um, the Gruffalo photos and that, and the, the other end is the vampire photos. I uh, didn't go in the vampire because the wait was a bit too long and we didn't have time to go on it. Um, so yeah, re re really good ride. Really nice and lengthy ride as well. It, it it did it so so it's it gives a bit more length to the story. So that's actually quite good, it's successful as well. But however, most people say that it will not replace the bu bubble works. People still loves the bubble works. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't go on the bubble works, but I might have enjoyed it as well. So uh, there you go. Anyway, this was the review for the Gruffalo River ride adventure. Uh, this is going to be uploaded straight away. I'll try to upload it straight away. <clears throat> Later on in the week, I will have the the vlog for uh, the chess and vlog out. So I've got to edit it all together and everything. I've got a decent amount of footage as well. All the photos are on the um, Facebook. So what I do as soon as I get that video uploaded, I'll put a link to the Facebook album so you can browse through the pictures and stuff. Um. So yeah, this has been the review. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and have something different. I want to try and record something every day this, this week because I've got time. Uh, and I will see you next time.